Hi, thanks for watching. This is a quick look at how Google views and ranks your website in the search results. By knowing how the program works, you can use it to your advantage to increase the traffic to your site by getting it on the first page, so that way you're the first click and the first call whenever customers are searching. Now I've got your website pulled up here, and the layout looks good. We've got all the drop down menus, click to call, and everything works. As far as Google is concerned, when it's looking to rank a website, it's going to do so based on two factors. The first is the content. So it's going to come in and count all the words on the page. It's basically looking for a minimum of about 1,500 to 2,000 words because it assumes that the more information you have on the page, the more of an expert you are in your field, and the more likely it is to recommend you. Now, while it's counting, it's also searching for keywords, which would be anything that somebody would type into Google search, which is usually going to be a service that you offer and then an area that you offer it in. Now this is where the number of words on the page really comes into play because you're only allowed to have one of these keywords for every 150 words on the page. Now the second way that Google is going to rank your website is based on its authority, which is basically a popularity contest. Now there are two ways to build authority. The first is by getting what's called citations. A citation is any time that your name address, and phone number appear in an online directory. Those directories include Yelp, Yellow Pages, Better Business Bureau. They're usually all free. It just takes some time to find them, register your business, and then input the information exactly as it's shown in Google. The second way to build authority is through what's called backlinks. Now that's when another website links or refers back to yours. It basically acts as an endorsement that Google uses to build trust because others are vouching for you. It's similar to a customer review in that if you had, say, a thousand five-star customer reviews, people would think pretty highly of your business. Google is doing the same thing, except it's using other websites to make this judgment. Now, to see how this determines where your website ranks in search, if we go back, the first thing that comes up is called the map pack. This is actually a pretty important area to try to get into because anywhere from 40 to 60% of people will just click on one of these top three. Now this is free to get listed. You just need to fill out your Google business profile. It's inside the Maps app, so you can do it right from a smartphone. When doing so, you want to fill out as many of the fields as possible, including the services that you offer, the areas that you offer it in, and the hours of operation. Then you want to continuously add photos that are geotagged within your service area and upload those as, as well as posts to the profile as often as you can. Then you want to have customers post reviews, and you want to get as many of those citations as possible your name, address, and phone number, you want them listed in more directories than anybody else on this list. Then underneath that, this is what we call the organic search results. This is where the higher the authority or the more trust Google has in your site, the higher up in the list that you're going to rank. So to demonstrate this, I put your website into this tool that I use, and it shows me all the information that Google finds when it crawls your site based on the content and the authority. Just to quickly define these terms, if the local news station did an article on the top 10 best home insulation companies in Massachusetts, and inside that article, the reader could click a link and it would bring them to your website, that would be considered one referring site or one referring domain. Now, just to put a little context to these numbers, what I've done is if I've taken the top companies in this search result, and I've just put them into the same tool to show you what kind of authority that their site is bringing and the reason why they're ranking on the first page. Now, just something to note here is it's not just a matter of the quantity of these links, it's also the quality. They need to be relative to your profession. So for instance, if we had Pizza Hut linking back to your site, Google understands that you're insulating houses, you're not making pizzas. So even though that'll add a number, it won't actually add any authority to your site. So this is where we wanna find any kind of blogs or posting sites, directories, articles, anything to do with the home improvement, building, remodeling, insulating, home energy efficiency, those types of industries and fields where they would be relevant and would add some power to your site. Now, as far as content, unfortunately, it's not picking up any keywords. Um, I'd have to look at the way the site was built, but I have a feeling that a lot of these are being described as, or Google is interpreting them as a picture, so it's not picking them up. And then even in the services page, we click in here, say for blown insulation, it won't pick up words that are in these headings. It only picks up words that are on the page. 
and unfortunately, it's it, there aren't the words that people are searching for. So this is where we call it on-site SEO or on-site optim optimization. We'd have to be making sure that the proper wording and the way it's being put as a header and how it's being found in the what we call organic text of the page to make sure that the, the keywords are being picked up. But just to show you what we would do is do some research to find all the keywords that are being searched and then the volume, the number of times per month they're being searched. So we find the highest volume keywords relative to your area and then also the services that you offer and then make sure that those are being included on your page. So for instance, Cape Cod insulation, that's being searched 250 times a month. If you were on the first page of Google, 250 people will be seeing your website. Now we're usually pretty conservative and say only 10% of those will actually become leads and give you a call. Now, I don't know what the conversion rate is for your business, but let's be even more conservative and say that only say 20% of those actually become customers. Now you'd be looking at five new customers a month just off one keyword. So then we would repeat that same process for all the highest volume keywords in your area and make sure that those are being included and found on your site. Now obviously each job has a different profit margin depending on the scope of the job, but you can obviously see how all those leads will add up to some revenue at the end of the month and at the end of the year. Now I hope this information was helpful and it allows you to scale some of your online presence. Please feel free to reach out if you have any questions or if you'd like me to go into any further details. We could also talk about your goals and I can do some research to find out what it would take for you to reach those. And I always appreciate getting feedback as well to find out if information like this is useful for you. So please let me know what you thought. Thanks. And I hope this helps.